Good day, fam. Welcome back to my Wednesday Wisdom. So, just a quick announcement. Uh, Thursday, August 5th, I am doing a Merkaba activation workshop. And I'm super excited for this. I have been wanting to bring alchemy into the community. And, you know, the best way to start to understand alchemy is to actually feel it. So this is just a great place to start with the Merkaba and yeah, I'm super excited and more information and details you can find, gosh, in my posts basically. Um, yeah, most of my posts, that's where you can find them. All right. So for the energy of this week and the guidance that's really coming through, like when I was meditating and preparing for this, I saw this card come through. Um, and so it, I just knew I had to go get it, right? Um, and hope, hope um, was the word that kept coming up. So really being hopeful about the future and optimistic right now so important and you know in the regular tarot the hope card is actually the star card so you know the star is all about making a wish with your dreams and aspirations and you know really a part of manifestation right wishing upon a star and but through that I th I'm feeling a combination of things of yeah being optimistic about your future and really allowing the light to come through more and being more positive. And so the next card that came out was compassion. And um, I really like these cards because you can meditate on them um, in between the light and the geometry you can meditate on them so i know the lighting i still am figuring out the lighting to make this shine brighter but you know at some point i'll i'll get there right step by step so i just want to read what it says below the frequency of compassion supports our ability to stand by others without judgment and be the divine mediator between heaven and earth spirit and matter so that unconditional love can flow from source through our heart into the world so you know maybe right now you need to give yourself more compassion or you need to give more compassion to others however that may serve you um, maybe you're being too hard on yourself and, you know, need to be more hopeful about what's to come. And so I clarified the compassion card and it really sinks in actually with the hope card. So I love when <laughs> cards do that, right? It's just intertwines everything. So, yeah, and then, you know, maybe if it's in regards to a person, a business, a situation, maybe even an animal, right, um, however it may apply to you, you know, really extending that compassion towards that person, because, you know, at the end of the day, everyone is doing the best that they know how, and you actually have no idea what's going on in their head. No matter how much someone shares with you and doesn't share with you, you actually have no idea what is happening in their thoughts and how they are feeling. Okay, so, and even if people do, you know, there's, we have some people who like overshare, still, we have so many thoughts throughout the day, right? You're not going to know everything, you're just not. So that's where spirit, the universe, they actually know, source knows what's, you know, they can see everything from a higher perspective, Right, And this is really asking us to go into the deeper part of our heart and really extend compassion right now. And, you know, even, even if you don't feel like that person needs it, maybe you even feel like you've extended compassion and you've had enough. Of course, you need to have healthy boundaries, right? But 
at times we are being asked to go pushed past our limits within healthy loving boundaries right that doesn't mean you're a pushover that doesn't mean um you know you're being hurt by this whether it's you know by words and definitely not physically right so don't put yourself in that space you know you got to extend those healthy boundaries and have discernment and it you should really have seen to my my reading from last week because that really talked more about discernment and we really need to utilize that right now and it's actually at the bottom of the deck of this one so it is still relevant all right so when i clarified compassion four cards came out all right so the world i love these cards so the world um five of pentacles upside down seven of pentacles upside down and the eight of wands upside down so typically you know the world is a really positive card it's about completion it's finding that joy um you know maybe you've really been working hard on a project or working within yourself right but with these other cards surrounding it and being upside down and the feeling that i'm getting also with this is that you know, maybe you have completed something, but you're not seeing the positive side of things, right? Because here, this person looks really happy. She looks really happy and just in her element, <laughs> hence all the different elements and geometry, right? And there's just a wholeness within her. But with these other cards, and it doesn't have to be a he or she, and just because of the card, there's a female, right? But with this five of pentacles, you know, this person just looks really down on themselves, um, just not being sure of themselves, not seeing the light at the end of the tunnel, not having hope, right? Not being hopeful about what's to come. And, you know, whether it is with a person, maybe it's a certain relationship, or maybe it's in regards to building your business, or maybe it's deep inner work and you just really haven't realized how far you've come to work on yourself, um, starting to see the light of the tunnel. But as you can see, this person is looking down. They're not seeing this light. And, you know, I, I find it interesting here, the five of pentacles here. Um, and then you also have the geometry here, all right? And there is a fifth one, which is in the middle, the flower of life, okay? So they're just, they're not seeing some of the manifestations that have started to come through not realizing that um the key to unlock this is you like the key's here right we're not trying to find the key we're we're not recognizing that the key is here because we're too too much looking you know like we have all this other work to complete and do um and with the seven of pentacles again you know not seeing the fruition of our seeds and maybe the the seeds you know they they are planted right um this is still somewhat young but because it's a seven there is you know some building up of this momentum for things that you know you have wished for or dreams or aspirations um, and maybe even something as wanting deeper connection with um, a mom, a dad, an uncle, a parent, um, you know, a kid, um, your dog, your, you know, the, the list can go on and on. Maybe even deeper connection within yourself and going deeper into your spiritual journey. But with this, it's with it being turned upside down, you're just, you're, again, it's, you're not being hopeful you're losing the faith 
And that's where I feel between these two cards, like having that compassion for yourself and for others. It's really, really important right now. Being a little bit more gentle with yourself, not being so hard on yourself or another person, right? And with this Eight of Wands um, being reversed, there's just, there's a lot of hesitation, um, maybe stagnation, not a lot of movement, even though there's been a completion here, but you haven't fully completed it or the universe is like, no, you've completed it. You've completed this. Um, but you aren't seeing that you've completed this, completed this because your thoughts, okay, are, are here, all right? And you're in this energy of being hesitant to move on. And it is scary, too. That's the other thing. You know, when you have completed something and starting something new, it can be really scary because you're going into, you have no reference point, right? There's no reference point. You're going into something completely new. So say you want to mend a relationship that has, that there's just never been a whole lot of love or a whole lot of compassion in that relationship, right? So there's no reference point of how to build but starting with gratitude, being hopeful and having compassion, those are places that you can start with. Eat, and that starts within yourself. When you start to place more compassion within yourself and not judging others so much, you will start to see a shift in other people because you've shifted and your energy shifted. A lot of the time, you know, it's like the old saying, like, forgiveness we don't forgive other people we don't do forgiveness for other people we forgive so we can move on and so you know this this work if it is in regards to a person at some point um if you're in a state of compassion and just having gratitude and the things that you have learned at some point you will go into forgiveness work but you're not there yet um, because if you're still in this judgment phase and you're still overthinking things um, and just seeing the negative, right, um, you're, you're not ready to forgive. You're not ready to forgive yet. Um, and I can tell you that uh, from personal experience. So, yeah. <laughs> All right. Working with clients, so on and so forth. But um, what I do want to say is that, you know, this is your choice, right? You're choosing this. So that is the positive thing. You're choosing this energy. You're choosing this movement. So as you get more into a hopeful state in a compassionate state and, you know, really allow yourself to move through that energy, things will shift and, Oh, the other thing, hold on, I got, I need a drink real quick. The other thing that came to mind, if, you know, this isn't about a person, but maybe about a certain um, project and you just feel like, you know, you haven't seen the fruition, you haven't seen um, the abundance or prosperity come in yet, right? Maybe you've been pushing really hard towards something. Um, it's like, how do you view failure you know a lot of the time it's it's interesting talking to people and the stigma behind failure it was like I was I had talked to someone this last weekend and there was you know saying something um and it was like oh I didn't mean like failure towards you and I was like uh yeah no I don't even see like for me personally failure is someone who gives up to me that's failure right if you haven't, um, in regards to say like financial abundance, right, received all that, it just means you got to keep working it, right, and maybe working in a different way, in a different view, um, in a different energy, right. Maybe you need to see it um, and feel it in a different way, um, but that doesn't mean you failed. Failure is when you give up. That is what failure is. But if you keep trying and plugging away at something and you just, you know, maybe need a little bit more time for those seeds and those roots to grow to really build that solid foundation, 
right? And this card is showing you you are building it. It's it's the viewpoint that needs to change, um, and the and you know the movement. This will shift as well when you start to change. You know that there is light at the end of the uh, and at the end of the tunnel, but you're not looking for it, right? You're not viewing it that way. You're like trying to create something here, but you're not realizing like all the foundation that you've already put in place. So it's really good to reflect at times. Um, and if you are working with someone, um, it's really good for them to reflect that back to you. Sometimes it's hard. I know it is for me to like um, reflect back and see how far I've come and give myself credit in that way, right? It's not always easy to do that, but sometimes it's easier if you have someone that you're working with, whether it's a coach, a mentor, a healer, a teacher, um, however it may be, and just ask them, you know, like, um, how can, you know, can you show me how far I've come? Because a lot of the time when, when we are working, um, in regards with our emotions, um, even with career, um, a lot of the time we're looking for that physical manifestation, not realizing like all the other energy that we put into it, right? Um, we've really come a long way, right? We've really come a long way. So anyways, guys, I hope you have a grateful day. And of course, enjoy the moment.